good, good people. It is your boy, Nick Crenshaw, with another episode of What That Walk Like. Okay, so today, the name of the topic is, we fighting the day, baby. We fighting the day. So I want to have an in-depth discussion about the mixed views about believers and violence and, and fighting and uh, just my perspective on it all, man. Uh, I hope you get something out of the day. <laughs> it should be interesting. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the page right now. Push the subscribe button. Don't forget to push the like button. I'm pretty sure you're going to like what you're about to see. Uh, and I appreciate you joining me today. I'll let your boy baby. All right, Woo. let's get to it, people. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's start off this way. Peace be unto you. Uh, my first response in every conflict is normally the one of a peacemaker. Um, I ain't got the points to prove nobody. We ain't really got to go there. Um, if I feel that a conversation is, or a discussion or a debate or whatever it is is uh, getting too heated or uh, most of the time if I feel myself get too heated, I kind of try to walk away from it or avoid it. I've been known not to walk away from it, <laughs> not to avoid it. Uh, but that's one of the things that I try to work towards or I try to be intentional about saying, Nick, it ain't worth it. Not worth it. Move on. And in recent years, I've at least tried to not just say, Nick, it's not worth it. Move on. But to be intentional about actually making peace in the moment so that there's no future conflict. Um, not always the best at that. Most of the time, I'm really good at it. Uh, there's, there's been a few times that maybe not so much. <laughs> So much. And, and and that's real. But I try to remind myself of Matthew 5 and 9. It says, Blessed are the blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Now, I can't tell everybody else that I'm a child of God. Y'all be singing this song. I am a child of God. He calls me friend. Yeah, you heard it. So now I, I can't really uh, say all of that and not want to be a peacemaker because scripture tells us that peacemakers will be called the child of God. So that's, that is always my intent. But I also don't turn the other cheek either. Uh, you put your hands on me, you have to see me. <laughs> and that's just, that's a reality here. Like, uh, we cool and to the point you 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 know you 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 become physically aggressive with your boy. Uh and then we got to address that. Like I don't know, I wasn't raised like that. <laughs> and I would keep a hundred, man. Some people they better at this, way better at this, man. I'd say people march, have dogs sicked on them and, and, and you know, water holes hit them, people hit them in the face with their fists. Uh, Hit them with the baton. I wouldn't have made it in that season. That, that wasn't when the Lord needed me to be on earth. I ain't that good of a person. I'm, <laughs> what's Steve Harvey say? He's still working on me. Like <laughs> that part of me is for sure under construction. Like you gotta watch, you gotta watch watch how you how you put your hands on people, man. You, you ain't put your hands on me like that. I ain't really cool with that at all. And I think I have the right to protect myself and my person. Now you know, I used to try to use scripture uh, as it pertains to that because, you know, in scripture, um, when Christ was leaving the disciples, he said, sell your cloak and buy your dagger because you're going to be persecuted for my sake, you know, within that timeline. I was just like, yo, man, you say cloak, buy a dagger, stab somebody, man. You know, say, hit him with, hit him with, a, with a two piece, man. You know, you ain't going to be running up on me like that, man. You, you heard what the Lord said. <laughs> sell that cloak. Sell all of the, all that. Get you a dagger. I ain't got no dagger. I got a pistol. We, we, we can just squash all this beef real, real quick. 
And, uh, and then I had to become way better informed about what that scripture was talking about. Just, just understanding that persecution was going to come because of his name. And there are certain persecutions that I am 100% prepared for. Like, I know people are going to say stuff. I know people are not going to agree. I know it's going to divide homes, potentially. I know it can uh, uh, distance relationships. I know that people might say something. They might scream nasty things. They might post nasty stuff. Um, they, For his sake, there, there are certain persecutions that I am prepared for. You're not going to walk up on me and hit me, though. Let's, let's put that out there. Right? You can't say I didn't say it, man. Like, not, not without a response from me. Like, you know, I ain't even got to win the fight. I ain't got to win it. <laughs> Just know it's good. <laughs> Just know it's coming with some partner. Like, I ain't got to win it. And and that is never my intent. Like, that's, like, if I see you coming in aggression, my, like I said, my original intent is to become a peacemaker. Now, with all of this said, because we're going to make this discussion a little quicker than normal, uh, I ain't no killer, but don't push me. Like, when it comes to my children, don't test it. Don't you test it. <laughs> don't you test it. That's why I didn't call... You know, uh, it, that's why I said violence in the intro of this bad boy. Cause don't don't test it. Like when it comes to my babies, man, I'm I'm, I'm super guarded, and I think it's my biblical, uh, not just the biblical right, but it is my biblical responsibility as a father and the head of my household to protect everything that falls under that umbrella. So um, understand if you threaten my life. Certainly, if you got a tool on you, any type of tool, it could be a bat, it could be a, a gun, it could be a knife, it could be anything that can be used, a crowbar, it, it don't matter. It could be a metal toothpick. I don't know what you can do with that toothpick. Uh, it can be anything that would threaten my life or the life of my children, and it might cost you way more than you're willing to pay. So, I believe that we should all be peacemakers. <laughs> it would benefit everybody if they were more peacemakers in this world. There are there are a lot of things that can be solved with a, a, a discussion, that with, with great communication. There are a lot of things that even if it can't be addressed with great communication, uh, it can be addressed with seasons of silence. Uh, sometimes we don't have to come to a resolution today. Sometimes it might need to, it might need to give have time to breathe, and we might need to come back to this. Or um, sometimes, you know, we might never come to an agreement with it, and that's fine. But that shouldn't uh, remove peace out of the relationship. If, if it's a a, a a personal relationship that you have with somebody, or a a, 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 a relationship in a moment of time, it should not. Re remove peace out of an interaction or a relationship or anything like that. You have to have enough self-control to know what is worth it and what is not. Uh, I'm just not the type, and you know, maybe Jesus is still working in that area. I don't know. I'm... I ain't felt the conviction yet. Maybe that'll come one day. But, uh, <laughs> you know, just don't keep your hands off me, man. Like, we ain't got, we ain't got to, you know, if, if you my bruh, there's times that we will wrestle with one another and we love each other and that is never going to change. Like, I ain't, if you my brother, that's that's my brother. Like, we ain't fighting, we ain't throwing blows, we don't do that, but I, we throw each other around. Uh, so, that's my brother. But certainly if I don't know you, like, yeah, yeah, stay, stay, stay the, the way more than arm length. Stay, stay a little bit further. Don't get in that personal space like that. You know, if you got a problem, you got a problem. You can communicate your problem. You can talk about all of that. That's that's fine. I don't mind that. It's just when you when you talking about putting your hands on somebody, mm, Jesus be with. Let the Lord be with you. Uh, and like I've already said, touch my kids, uh, touch me in, in a life threatening way. Uh, you just gonna have to see me, and that that is my personal stance. Um, I believe I can have biblical backing behind that stance for sure. Uh, but that is my personal stance. I, I, I just know that if you can find peace, find it. Even if it takes a lot of extra effort on your part, be a peacemaker. There is nothing 
worth making uh, that is made quickly. A lot of those things that have quality to them requires time to make, uh, requires more effort to make. And if you want the relationship with people, with individuals, either fleeting or long term, uh, to have more value, take more time in making peace. Uh, in your marriage, for sure, uh, in, in your friendships, in uh, your acquaintances, in all of these areas, be a peacemaker. You know, that'll bless a lot of homes. If, if people can find peace when they go home, even if you can't find nothing else, if you can find peace, uh, that'll bless. So, uh, I hope... <laughs> I hope this was helpful in some type of way. Uh, uh, I hope it bless your life in some type of way. And uh, I know y'all got comments. I know you got something to say. Go ahead and put that in the comments. Go share, share, share. I want to hear it. I want, don't you, that you don't have to be shy with me. Go ahead and say what you think. And uh, go ahead and share that with the masses, man, so that we can all comment. Also, um, don't forget to push that like button. And don't forget to push that subscribe button. Um, I really appreciate all the love that we've been getting, uh, a lot a lot of the feedback we've been getting, and um, I'm just super thankful for it all. So continue, uh, send this to your mama and your grandmama and them. You know the violent family members you got. Go ahead and send it to you. I know your granny a little violent. Go ahead and send it to her. See what she got to say about it. She's been in church all her life. She's going to say something of value. Yeah. Um, Go ahead and send it to them cousins too. To be a get book in the club, you know, you know. Go ahead, send it to them. See what they got to say about that. There, and uh, maybe that'll help them out. Maybe it'll calm them down. Woo side them. Uh, and uh, any homies, any friends, any 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 church members. You know, you got some church members. That got them hands, and they like to use them when they can. Uh, go ahead, send it to them, man. Send it, send it to everybody that you think could benefit from this. And um, don't forget to follow us. Facebook, uh, Nick Crenshaw Speaks. Instagram, underscore Nick Crenshaw. Holla at your boy, baby. Talk to him, Tom. Look, another life gone by the sunset. Go. How I learn how to shoot through the doors of a coop and I can't buy a gun yet. Go. Why I'm having to prove I'm a man in pursuit of the mean and the life. Go. When the only way to pass is, nigga, you detained in the read and the rights. Woo. Want a piece of the pie. Uh. So I'm seeking a slice. Yes. When the blind lead the blind, uh. it get harder to find. Yeah.